What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're going to be checking out one of the more unique pieces of EDC gear to come across the table in a while, and that is the Mech Army RU01. This is a titanium multifunction ruler that just launched on Kickstarter a couple days ago. Now, despite only being up for a couple days, this project is already fully funded, so you don't have to worry about this becoming one of those projects that never gets funded. These will be going into production and shipping starting in January of 2025. Now, despite being fully funded, I always recommend if this is a product you're interested in, Check out the Kickstarter anyway. I'll leave a link down in the description because you can take advantage of the early bird and even the super early bird pricing. Both tiers are still available at the time I'm uploading the video. And that's gonna save you 25 to 30% off the final MSRP price of these. So you're gonna be getting it at a decent discount. They also fulfill those Kickstarter orders before sell sending them out to the general public that buys them after the Kickstarter campaign. So you're gonna get first access at a discount price. So kind of a win-win situation. Now, as far as the RU01 goes, I already mentioned that titanium construction. This is a 6AL-4V titanium, really slick clean design overall. Titanium is extremely hardy and sturdy so you don't have to worry about breaking this one or destroying it. In fact one of my favorite aspects about this is the zero screw construction and so there's only two parts and really there's nothing to break here. So not only do you have a durable material but just a great construction with not a lot of moving pieces that can fail on you and that's great for me because if you watch the channel you probably already know that i recently broke my calipers and were in the was in the market for new ones anyway so when mech army reached out kind of a perfect timing on that one but besides that, it's also ultra compact. You can see the end over here has a slot where you can attach it to your keychain or even put a lanyard on there if you wanna slide this into a small mini tool pouch or something like that. Footprint wise, we're only looking at about 3.8 inches in length, so under four inches in length total, about 0.2 inches thick, and the entire thing only weighs 1.4 ounces. And so this is interesting because it doubles as both a caliper and a ruler. You can also obviously use it as a straight edge with those straight edges. And it has centimeter measurements as well as inch measurements. So we get about five and a half centimeters or two and a quarter inches. And the cool thing about calipers for me, I use them a lot for verifying specs on websites. You know, always wanna make sure that they're giving accurate readings. So I'm passing along correct information, but also helpful if you need to see if something's gonna fit. So great example I thought would be the Mech Army bolt action pen. This was actually, fun fact, my first ever titanium pen and first ever bolt action pen before I had a channel. And so we're gonna measure the shackle up here. That's gonna be the widest point on this. And the nice thing about it, super Super smooth and easy to operate but as you can see once it's set into place if you're not putting pressure on the bottom here gravity is not going to move that around you can push it in technically but it's not going to move around on you and so even though our object is no longer in the grips of that caliper we can still take an accurate measurement which makes it a little bit less cumbersome and easy to read when you set that item down you can move it closer to your eyes and we'll see that we are, there's a notch on the body of this that shows which measurement we're looking at. And so we're looking at the hash mark, one hash mark past the one and a half centimeter mark. So we know that's gonna be 16 millimeters or 1.6 centimeters. If we take a look at the other side in our inch ruler, the half inch mark is there. It's a little bit longer than the rest. And we're two in, two hash marks past that. And so we know it's about five eighths of an inch or 0.625 inches. And that's really helpful if you're looking at a pouch or a bag that says it has a pen slot that can accommodate pens up to a half inch in diameter, for example. So we know that the body of the pen is less than that, but the shackle isn't. And so that means that we'll be able to slide that right in there. It's gonna get caught up on the shackle, which is perfectly fine because you know it's not gonna slide out on the other side and that we can confidently buy that knowing that this is going to fit in that slot. Also really great for certain professions, obviously engineering, architecture, a lot of stuff where you're doing drawings where scale matters. It's great to have a straight edge that also has ruler markers on it so you can get that scale correct. For me, I also like to do dot style grid pages in my journals and those are perfect because you can write right through them. There's no lines, but sometimes you actually want the grid lines and so you can use the straight edge to just connect those dots. Now that's all assuming you don't have this on a keychain and the calipers are really great for measuring out rounder items. They're also great for small square items as well, but sometimes you need to lay it flat and measure something on the table. That's perfectly fine if you don't have it on a keychain, but if you have a key ring on here, that's gonna kind of prop it up and keep it from laying flat. So 
you can actually remove this despite that zero screw, screw construction. So you'll see it stops right here, it's not gonna pull off, but once you put some pressure on those threaded lines here, you can slide it right off and use this independent from the body. So this would still be attached to your keychain, but now you have a ruler that's removable. You can measure what you need to, use it as a straight edge for connecting those lines. And then when you're ready to put it back in, kind of reverse that process. You just slide it into here, put a little bit of downward pressure so you can get past that stopping gate and then you can push it the rest of the way closed. Super clean design as well, pretty straight obviously for those straight edges, but not a lot of branding going on. You have the mech army on the spine of it. That back looks like a really great candidate if you wanna do some laser etching on there. In fact, I may end up going that route, but I find this is a really cool item. It's really a niche item that's only gonna be super useful to certain certain niches, but if it's something that you're using on a daily basis, this was already an item I was in the market for. So really excited to see this one coming to fruition. Now, in terms of the pricing on here, MSRP, when it's going to widely release, it will be $109, but that super early bird pricing is $69. The early bird pricing is $75. And like I mentioned, both of those are still available at the time I'm uploading this video. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below. Other uses you might get out of it. If you've ever watched any of my pocket notebook cover videos, oftentimes there's different slots for pens and credit cards and other objects. A lot of times I'll use those slots for a ruler because I like having a straight edge on me. And so the nice thing about this one is it's a little bit shorter. Most of the rulers I find are about six inches. And so having one that's under four inches is great for slotting into those smaller notebook covers. So really excited about this one, like I said, but would love to hear your thoughts on it and of course I will leave a link down in the description of the video to that Kickstarter campaign if you're interested in backing this one if you're watching this one way out in the future over a month you're gonna want to go directly to mech army but I think they usually keep the Kickstarter pages live so you'll be able to link from there as well but thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video consider liking commenting subscribing joining the channel as a member or even checking out some of my other videos they all help the channel out a ton and as always hope you have a great one take care